Now, remember the summer of 76. It was hot, racial tensions in the capital were high, and on the cricket field, a triumphant West Indies team with a toast of South London. Well, tonight, a film that recalls all this is opening in Leicester Square. Our sports reporter, Sarah Orchard, has more. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. Bob Marley's Get Up, Stand Up. The rallying call and inspiration for a cricket team like no other. A film released later this month documents the rise and world domination of the West Indies cricket team for 15 years. Oh, he's hit him. That may have broken his jaw. 1976 was the time of racial unrest in the capital and the Windies were about to start a test series with England. People are building these West Indians up. I'm not really quite sure that they're as good as everyone thinks they are. If they're down, they grovel. And I intend, with the help of Klosi and a few others, to make them grovel. Grovel. They grovel. Grovel. To make them grovel. That wasn't a clever thing to say. I don't think, I don't think Gregory really understood the connotations behind what the word that he used and the fact that we were a West Indies team and he was from South African background. And of course, we had to make him understand it was the wrong choice of words and we made him grovel in the end. The West Indies won the series 3-0, giving a huge boost to London's black community. The elderly community were facing discrimination and there was massive uh, unemployment amongst young people. There were difficulties with the police, so it was a very tense situation on our streets. Cricket crowds were dominated by West Indians, who found new heroes and hope in the likes of Clive Lloyd and Viv Richards. Lords, the Oval, especially in London, were inundated with people from the West Indies. Where we are standing right now at the Oval is pretty close to Brixton, where so many West Indians lived, and they would come to the, to, to the Oval and let us know that whenever we won, they felt so much better. They could walk around the streets of, of London feeling great, and they could go to work with their heads, heads held high. 76 was the catalyst for the Windies' domination of world cricket. They never lost a match between 1980 and 1995. Fire in Babylon is released later this month. Sarah Orchard, BBC London News.